City Hall, Cardiff, 21st of May, 1919. Raphael Napolitano. I am informed by our chief constable that this alien was escorted to this city by a member of Liverpool City Police, pending arrangements being made for his deportation under an order made by the Secretary of State dated 20th of March. The letters are um, from a, a file. Basically, there are a series of missives between two constabularies, the um, Cardiff Constabulary and the, the Liverpool Constabulary, and they refer to um, a man called Raphael Napolitano, who's arrested um, and charged on pro- what was probably then the, um, the 1905 Aliens Act. I understand that for some years past it has been the practice of our Chief Constable, by the direction of the Home Secretary, to complete the expulsion or deportation of undesirable aliens who have been conveyed to this city by officers of other police forces. In the circumstances affecting this particular man, I feel sure that your corporation will accept all liability for whatever expense has been or will be incurred in the matter. I shall be glad to hear from you. Yours faithfully, J.L. Wheatley, Town Clerk. It's basically a, a kind of a, a narrative which uh, begins with his being uh, arrested and kind of ends with his deportation, but it's kind of a, a chronology of sort of um, a bureaucratic squabble between the two constabularies, uh, who's going to pay the expenses for the incarceration of this particular individual and um, who's going to pay for his eventual deportation. 2nd of July, 1919. Dear Sir, Raphael Napolitano, referring to your letter of the 21st of May, I am informed by the head constable of Liverpool that the deportation order against him was removed to the Newport Borough Asylum as a vagrant lunatic, and the Newport Asylum are now claiming for his maintenance from your city, and I am afraid that the city of Liverpool would have no power to accept any liability in the matter. Of vagrant lunatics to the municipality where they are found always seems to me to be most unfair, as the charge should be borne imporially. Liverpool, unfortunately, get more of these cases than their fair share, and I expect Cardiff get more than they like. Yours faithfully, Edward R. Pickmere. The other thing with, with regards to the letters is it, it, it tries to kind of identify him, um, where he'd come from, and it seemed that he's, he's joined the British Army in America, he's in, he, he was in the uh, the first uh, Manchester regiment, and this is um, 1919 when he's picked up. So the chances are that he may have seen active service in the First World War, just for the sheer mass of people that were involved. And there's there's, there's another kind of um, interesting part of, of the the, um, the letters. Um, there's a line that recurs, uh, found wandering. And that line is underlined in each uh, letter. It's a really important part of what he's been doing. You know, that's evidently the um, the hook on which the the charging him, on which um, he's become, uh, you know, in effect illegal. It's a real farce. It's a, it's a kind of a Kafkaesque situation. It's just farcical. And I mean, the other thing that you've got to remember is like. There's, there's actually a, a person in the middle of all this who's been sitting in jail while this is all happening. 